When you first start Bibble 5, it will look like this. We start out on the Library tab, but we haven't imported anything yet, and I don't really want to go through that process right now. I just want to get started viewing and editing my pictures. So let's click on the File System tab and quickly find a folder that has some images that we want to work on. It scans through your folders, finds all the images, brings them in, and renders previews so you can quickly zoom in to 100% and go to work editing your pictures right away. You can make any adjustments you want. You can start rating either individual images or groups of images using the toolbar and you can start editing your pictures as well. See this has some barrel distortion from this wide angle lens and we'll take care of it just like that. So already in just a few seconds we clicked on a folder brought in all the images in that folder and have gone through and started rating and adjusting our images. You can move through them as fast as you want either with the keyboard or just click 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 and put them on screen and start doing your image adjustments right away. Maybe apply a preset and then adjust that preset a little bit using some of the other Bibble controls. We'll go into more detail about the editing tools later. If you like how this one looks then you can rate that image as well and then just click on another folder to scan, bring in those images and go to work on them. Click on an image and even while it's still previewing and bringing in those other images we can zoom this image, pan around, and move very, very smoothly and quickly around the image very fast. Make some image adjustments, and then if you like it, give it a rating. We can even make a new version and maybe do a uh, black and white. Just try a different feel on that image very, very quickly. If we now go back to the previous folder we were looking at, Bibble quickly looks for any new images or images that might have been deleted and will bring those in or drop them off the list. But otherwise, it brings up the existing images very, very fast and with all of your previous adjustments right in place. So you can see how simple Bibble 5 is to use. Just click on a folder, the images will appear, click on an image and you can start viewing it right away even while Bibble's doing other work. Bibble knows how to put the on-screen adjustments like the real-time image adjustments or zooming to 100% and panning at the highest priority. So even though it's building previews or maybe writing output images, you can go through your images very, very fast, zoom into 100% with no delays at all, get beautiful detail very, very quickly. So as you can see, everything about Bibble 5 has been designed for speed. Not only speed of processing, but also speed of workflow, allowing you to just click on the file system tab, find a folder you want to start working with, and immediately go to work. Now, if you do want to take advantage of the asset management capabilities in Bibble, well that's just as easy. We'll go ahead and import this folder using the default settings here. and then maybe we'll import this other one that we were working on and this flying folder as well. Okay, now we've got some imports going, we're building some previews. We'll switch back to our library tab and find these images we were looking at earlier. They instantly appear, come right on screen, and even though it's generating previews, we can zoom in to 100% and click around through our catalog very, very quickly. Some of the added features you get once you have imported and made a catalog is access to the metadata browser. This allows you to find all your images by rating or by shooting info, like uh, what aperture you shot at or what camera you used or what date and time or any of the other EXIF metadata that we extract from the images that you import. If we look back at our downtown folder, we can see the adjustments that we made while we were in file system view carry over into the library. 
the lens distortion correction that we had applied is already turned on for this image and here you can see that we've got the contrast and preset and has that cross-processed look that we were going for. Getting images out of Bibble is also just as fast. I'll select a bunch of images here and then select File, Export, and pick a folder to store these in. JPEG, otherwise leave everything else standard and just say go and it'll start exporting my files and it's already done. So that's a quick overview of how to get started with Bibble 5. We looked at the file system tab which allowed us to go to work quickly without needing to import images or make any cataloging decisions. We took a quick look at some of the asset management features that you gain if you do create a catalog by importing images from the file system into Bibble 5. And finally, we saw how to export your images to make them available to other applications. We'll go into more detail on these and other features in later videos, so stay tuned.